What's up guys, today I'm gonna be getting Quincy card. So first off, I gotta progress to Vastacar again, which is gonna be a lot of work. <sighs> but make sure to stick around until the end because I'm gonna be asking a very special question that I want everyone to participate in. Since I've already done Vastacar progression in a different video, I'm gonna speed through it this time. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I just loaded in, so now it's time to start. First thing we gotta do is die. Now it's time to pull up my chain. We're hollow now, so it's time to grind. Never mind, I guess we're a Meadows now. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the progression for a second. Why is this player Ajukaz attacking me? Like, what did I even do to him? I swear, this is a growing issue in this game. The more players from Type Soul that go to Peroxide, the more toxic the game becomes. At this point, I finally became an Ajukaz, but I think my natural hollow brain kicked in or something, because I didn't even notice it and kept fighting hollows for a few minutes. I just realized I'm an Ajukar now. It was still processing in my head or something. So, finally, I got to my Vastalorde stage. And I told you it would be quick. It only took about a minute for you guys. It took like five hours for me though. But anyway, I wanted to share a few tips real quick for anyone doing Quincy card progression. Firstly, when you get to Vassal Lorde, there's no real need to spend time getting things like Sarah Oscars because you won't have it when you become a Quincy card. If you want to get them, you can, but it doesn't really matter that much. Secondly is don't roll for a legendary clan or resurrection because you won't have it as a Quincy card anyway. Lastly, I would recommend going Vastacar instead of something like Menos Car because Vastacars get the best buffs as a Quincy car. That's a lot of cars. Shut your stupid- Finally, I took off my mask and became a Vastacar. And I've gotta say, I think I look kinda drippy as a Vastacar. But that's not really what I'm going for here. I'm looking for Yacht. And I'm definitely gonna get it later. You guys say that leveling up is super easy, but I swear, every time I do it, it takes forever. So I don't know if everyone else has some sort of secret or something, but it takes so long for me. The res I got this time was acceleration, and I've gotta say that this is a really fun res. Like, it's not super strong, but it's really fun. And whenever you have the effect on, you look really sick. So next, I decided to add a little personality to my character because I already did it for my Soul Reaper account and I wanted to see how it looked for Arankars and Quincy's. But I've gotta say, I took way too long in picking out the hair. Like, it wasn't that serious, so I don't know what I was doing. In the background, I have a time lapse of it all. Okay, so I finally changed my outfit and... My disappointment is immeasurable. Like, it looks nice with my character, but it doesn't really have any kia, if you know what I'm saying. And I was really looking hard for some. So, for anyone who doesn't know how to get Quincy car, basically, you need to be level 100 and have positive Quincy rep. In order to get positive Quincy rep, you have to fill up Soul Gourds, which you can buy from Kisuke's shop and bring them to this Quincy. You then choose this option and it gives positive rep. Once you're both level 100 and have positive rep, then you have to go to Wanden. Now, if I'm being honest, getting to Wandenreich, I think that's how you say it, is annoying. First off, Quincy's don't have the same kind of teleport as everyone else. They can only teleport themselves, so you can't just call up a Quincy friend or something. Instead, you have to defeat an incursion, which will open a portal to Wanden. But the thing is that you get negative rep when you defeat it, so you have to turn in about 2-3 to three soul gourds instead of just one. I finished all of that stuff, so I went into the portal and bowed down to my king. Hey! Yes, let's go. I'm about to become a Quincy car. Let's go. Ooh. Damn, bro. Oh, and by the way, this is not the end of the video. Not even close. Because I'm going to be getting Shrift and Volt Standing too. Don't forget about the special question at the end of the video too. But before we do any of that, I'm going to need some yacht on this character. Because let's just say, at the moment, the personality is a little flat. I know I'm getting really sidetracked here, but before that, I have a legendary item which gives me cybernetics. All cybernetics really does is give you extra moves. It's the thing you see on my arm right now. Oh, and can we talk about how I rerolled 150 times and I still didn't get a legendary clan? Like, to this day, I still don't have one. Also, I lied to you guys. I'm gonna get some gyat after I get my shrift instead of before. Getting your shrift is actually pretty easy. Basically, all you have to do is invasions until you get lucky. So I did about five and I got mine. Finally, it was time to get some gyat on me. And let me tell you, this time it did not disappoint. Well, I guess you just have to see for yourself. Yo, gyat, gyat, gyat. Yep, I'm jacking off to that. Whoa, you see this? Do you see this? 
Next, it was time to get my vault standing. First, you talk to your watch when you're around level 90. And if you're ready, he'll tell you to go to a mountain. Once you're on the mountain, you walk inside of the castle and you get teleported to a room where you have to parry attacks to damage the enemy. Then you move on to stage 2, where you fight a clone of yourself. So, basically the same as the Bankai fight. I was fighting on stage 1 for way longer than I should have been because I didn't realize that you can get a checkpoint on stage 2 if you're S- minus rank or above, and I was A rank at the time. But honestly, I kind of like stage 1 because it was fun to practice my perfect blocking. Stage 2 on the other hand... Well, you'll see. One eternity later. Okay, so finally, after way too many attempts, not as many as the Bankai fight, but still way more than it should have been, I finally got to my last attempt. Let's go! Let's go! We finally got it! Oh my god, bro. That took way too long. Let's go! Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Alright, before I get to the special question, I have one more thing to say. If you got this far into the video, then you might as well subscribe because you clearly like my content. Anyway though, are you ready for this special question? Okay, here it is. I'm trying to like, get this video to 8 minutes, you know? Because my other videos are so close to 8 minutes and I heard from some people like, if it gets 8 minutes, then you get mid-roll ads or something like that. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna get to 8 minutes, you know. Alright. Now I'm gonna say the special question. Which race has the most GYAT? 